Welcome to Let's Talk Tech. My name's Alan. I'm Thomas. And we are focusing on our main segment. Well, we have a couple segments for today, but one of our segments is going to be talking about the Google, the new Google Chrome OS that's going to be coming out. And uh, we're also going to be talking about which console is the best, which video game console, the 360, the Wii, or the PS3. And we will also be talking about Windows 7, which is another Windows, uh, which is an, which is an operating, operating system, system that's going to be coming out uh, on October 22nd. Okay, well, Let's Talk Tech is mainly about uh, technology in the world and what's going on. And we inventions. Just wanna, yeah, inventions, operating systems, new... Electrons. New, <laughs> new, new stuff that's coming out. And we just want to tell you about it. Yeah, and well, hopefully you're somewhat entertained. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, so do you want to start us off with video games or? No, we're, we'll. I'll st start off with Google Chrome. Yeah. Okay, we'll start off with Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a obviously an OS like a Google Chrome OS that we like we said. So what do you want to talk say about? Google, it? Google Chrome is an, uh, a new operating system from Google that uh, is made for just internet users, where it's pretty much you get on and. You start on the internet. It's yeah, that's it. it. Yeah, it's, it's basically for, the internet, and it's, it's Firefox. Made, yeah, it's pretty much made for just internet users. Um, it, yeah. They said that they were just going to have Firefox on there. That's yeah, it. pretty much. It's just, and it's an open source program, well, unlike Windows. It's op, it's open source, so you'll be able to uh, change it, and it's a hopefully it's going to be a free program. Uh, it says right here, and I quote: "All web-based applications will automatically work." And new applications can be written using your favorite web technologies, unquote. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... So basically it's only meant for the web. You are not going to do anything else yeah, but web. Yeah, instead of, like, Windows where you can log in and then go into my documents and stuff, this is more like you log in and you're on Firefox. It's, it's going to be like a this century Yeah, it's more, it's, <laughs> it's more for people who just want to use the Internet, like business people who go on... No, it's not going to be meant for business people. Bu bu no, business people who go on to just sites... And look at you know like statistics and stuff like that. Yeah, it, you're gonna have to. It's gonna be everything's gonna be run off the internet, and that's basically what the world's coming to these days. So it's not really gonna matter. Um, seriously. That's the case. Now, okay, anyway. <laughs> um, so in our, are you want to move on in our video games or no. video game system? Dude, we gotta drive this on longer. Okay. Well, then we'll keep going with the Google Chrome. You wanna just make this our demo because we're you you've messed up so much. Yeah. Okay. We'll just All make right. it a demo. All right. Um. Okay, so next about Google Chrome, what else do I have here? Google Chrome is an open source, yeah, like I said. Yeah, Google, um, Google Chrome is open source, and it's actually a, a piggyback of uh, uh, Kennel Linux. Kennel Linux. Yeah. Which, uh, if you don't know what Linux is, it's another open source operating system. Free. Free open source operating system. Mandrivia, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu. It's some, Ubuntu. Just name a few. I mean, there's millions of them out there's, there. There's, you go there's online, tons. you get them anywhere. And they run great. You can't download any applications, but you can run any, you basically can everything's with, there You already. can do it with something called Wine, but that's off the topic. We're talking about Google Chrome. Yeah. So basically, uh, well, Google, Google, Google Chrome made a web browser first. Yeah. And right now, they have a web browser out. It's, yeah. It's called Google Chrome. It's, it's only meant for people with Windows XP, by the way. Yeah. You have to have XP and Plus. That's the requirement. And but really, besides that, there's no other requirements for it, and uh, now they're going to release a operating system for Google Chrome. Well, for, I, yeah. I think this, I think Google Chrome is going to be somewhat similar to Apple, as in by the security protocols, because as they say here, it's very, it's going to be very hard to get a virus on. Yeah, uh, they say they're going back to the basics and completely redesigning the underlying security protocols of the OS. So basically, it's going to be like Apple or Mac, whatever you want to call There's it. There's only a couple, handful of viruses out there for Mac. Yeah. Where it's actually really hard to make a Mac virus. Harder We're than not going to go into details about that, but uh, yeah, yeah it's, hard to make a, it's hard to make a Mac virus. That's okay. why Macs well, are so we're going to go to a, a commercial, and we'll see you back. Here. In a sec. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. And uh, our next segment that we're doing is Windows 7. Well, Windows 7, what? Right now it's in a trial version, yeah, right and it's coming out... Uh, what day? Uh, it's going to come out exactly what day? I, oh, you have it. I have it. Uh, Windows 7 release is going to be the 22nd of October, Which, 2009. Yeah, uh, but right now I have it as a trial version. 
Uh, I download it legally. So, you yeah. know, for all those people out there that don't wonder if I download No, I download it and legally from the Microsoft website. And you can no longer get it as a child. Yeah, no, I, don't think you can, I don't think you can get it. I think it ended already. Yeah, you, um, you can't say that, though. you got to say, and that we, it, it, you can no longer download it. We yeah, can check that out. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, you could try it, but, you know. Um, so, basically, Windows 7 is better than Microsoft Vista because nobody liked Windows Vista. Windows Vista Not was a crash and people, fail. Yeah. Windows Vista was kind of person. just annoying, where it was just like everything didn't need to be. They put stuff that didn't need to be. They made stuff more confusing than it needed to be. Oh, it yeah. was just really, really, I think, was a terrible operating system. Yeah, it, no, I didn't like the organization. The organization was very confusing. It was to hard me. to find files. It was yeah, hard it to was, yeah. change yeah. pretty much and anything. It was ba and basically, setting. as the technology gets newer, for people, tech guys like us, they're making it more confusing for us because they're making it so easy it's, that it's hard. Yeah, it's it's actually harder to change settings in the control panel. Yeah. And XP, much, much, much easier. Yeah. Even 2000 is the best. Yeah, I will. Yeah, for For stuff changing like. settings, but it's so downgraded now, you can't. Yeah. There's no Windows yeah, installer. So you can't get anything for dude, it. Dude, we're talking about Windows 7. You know, back to, you know. Yeah, no, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, our Windows 7 segment, basically, that we're talking about is just the whole overlay of the program, how it's better than Vista. Um, basically, Windows Vista has terrible organization, like I said before, but with Windows 7, that's not a problem in the uh, sidebar, which will be probably here. And uh, you can, whatever you have plugged into the computer, whether it is a external hard drive, internal hard drive, uh, flash drive, yeah, it's it, it shows up right on the sidebar. And that's very nice because they didn't have that in Windows Vista. No, no, no. It, it was really confusing when you plug something in, you had to go you you had to really just try to search actually for your for the oh, yeah. the external yeah, no, the it, external it even uh, flash drive external hard drive you just really had to search for it, it just it was yeah it, no it was it was, yeah. it was just really hard to find stuff but uh, when the it was search, seven, the, it dude was much the easier. search itself was terrible when you had to just search for something yeah it wouldn't find yeah anything. Um, it, it but uh, yeah so and also when you have your little bar up here on top of just about any program that you are going to use when Windows it's usually a blue bar as it is in Windows XP and in Windows 7 you can customize that now you can now change that for being any color that you would like red blue green purple or any octal colors blah 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 and you can change transparency what else you can change pretty much the whole look and you can actually make it a slideshow now where it's just like you can you can change the background to actually change pictures where uh, one picture will be up, and then it will just change and change and change every set period of time that you want. And yeah, the background, cool. yeah, I like that. They're actually pretty cool pictures. I mean, it's not like these crappy whatever um, pictures, and you can actually add pictures, of course. Now, with Windows Vista, uh, you had a bottom tool. When you went down to your start menu toolbar, when it, the toolbar there, you could go over the image, you go over the icon that was on the bottom of the screen, and it would show you the image. Well, you can do that with Windows Vi and Windows 7 too as well, but better. Now you can go and scroll over the icon and it Look will show camera. you on oh, my camera. On oh, yeah. my camera. And uh, you can go over and you can go over to uh, the sidebar, the start menu. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> on you. Thank you. And <laughs> well, now um, you can go over to the start menu and go over the icon and then go over the picture and it will show it to you as if it was actually open, but it is not. Yeah, it's it, it's not. I mean, and with before with XP or Vista, you couldn't change your background. You couldn't you uh, yeah. your layout. Uh, was it theme or skin? Yeah, theme. You, you, you couldn't theme change it. Skin, yeah. uh, you had to download something called Windows Blinds to change it, and that yeah, it costs nice. money to actually do it. You could buy the you could get the trial, but yeah, it, it still costs money. I mean, well, the trial doesn't, but it's still annoying. Stuff happens, you know. Yeah, but of with, course. But with Windows Seven, you can actually do it just straight off the desktop, where you can just affect just to make the changes right off the desktop straight up. So it's not. Go and download something. Go and add the yeah. extra. Don't go and download the app. Then it just comes with it. Your next thing is that there are, if you are familiar with, um, Mintrivia, Ubuntu, or anything like that, you know what the setup is in Windows Seven because the setup in the folders and stuff is the same basic way. In your side again, on the sidebar, it will show you everything, documents and everything. It will show you the basic files. So your basic files are basically your documents file, like I said before, and it's so much easier to get into now. Okay, what else do you want to talk about? What's our next segment? We don't have a next segment. We don't have a next segment. Yeah. So should we still go with Windows 2.7? Uh, we, we didn't do that. We already talked about 2.7. Yeah, I know. We'll keep, should we keep going? No. 
No, I'll send it. It's, I'll send it? It's 8 o'clock. Okay. Well, as as we, me and Thomas, finish up our short conversation of what our next <laughs> segment's going to be, as this is edits. now the end of the program. So well, please. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching and come back.